So James bought me flowers for my birthday. Look at those. They're so pretty. They're like roses mixed with carnations and other things. They're very heavy. So I'm trying to show you this as well. <laughs> James, why do you have that big bag? Oh, because my books are in there. Your books? It's Sunday. You're gonna <laughs> how many books do you have? A couple. A couple? That looks like more than a couple. Huh? Well, I feel like having carrying so I have you, no choice. Are you studying for something? No, I just want to read a few books, that's all. A read a few books? How many do you have? Like three or four. Three or four? Yeah. All in that big bag? That's right. All in this big bag. And your tablet? Yeah, that too? No. Oh, don't throw out my tea. Please, I need it. Don't throw out my tea. I'm kidding, I'm not throwing out tea. <laughs> what books are you going to read today? Damien Tillman's book. What is it called? Um, How to Quote Myself. How to Quote Myself? It's off peak. For it's off peak, yeah. Off peak. Really, it is. Yeah. Oh, because we you we usually go to Iceland. Oh, even when um, even when um, what you call it? Why do you always Snapchat when we're on the train? I love seeing Chris in Long Island, that's why. I'm Siri? Back. <laughs> why? Why are you snapping me while I'm recording you? Because. Because what? I gotta know who the director is. The director? Director of what? Director of my YouTube videos. Director of your PP? This is so Oh, no. This is a PG-13 show. Let's keep oh, it. Okay. PG-30. Well, no, it's too late because you curse like a sailor. So it's not really PG-13, right? Yes, indeed. Who's saying it in uh, Joe Pesci's voice? <laughs> That's Sean Penn. What? No, no, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. Oh, you're such a wrong person to ever take. Larry the Cable Guy. I don't know. You don't imitate him. You don't have to imitate him. You did a good job last night. I know, but yeah. Who else do you do? You do um, what's that guy's name? The one that the the, the mobster, the mobster guy. Which one? I don't know. Who do you do? Okay, okay. I say hello to my little friend. I don't know. He's not a mobster. He was a talk up though, a political prisoner. <laughs> talk up kind of mobster. Who is that? Tony Montana. Tell him that's the guy. He wasn't a lady. I'm just like he wasn't a mobster. Nope. He was Tony Montana was part of the cartel. Yeah, he was part of a cartel. Okay, drugs. Was that based on a true story? No, but it could have been. <laughs> it's fiction. Yeah. Oh, okay. But that's a long lasting tone urban legend that. What he was sniffing was indeed cocaine. Hoo ha! What is that? That scent of a woman? The stupidest movie I think he ever did. Why do you think it's stupid? I that like that movie. about a woman, and he won an Academy Award for that. He should have won an Academy Award for either The Godfather, Scarface, or even what was the other movie he did? Dog Day Afternoon. He could have won an Oscar for any of those other movies. Kramer versus Kramer. What was Kramer versus Kramer about? A lawyer going against the uh, a judge. You're out of order. He's out of order. She's out of order. That. Oh, I think I've seen that, but I can't remember the premise or the plot. I never. Well, I saw that movie ages ago. I won't even begin to tell you either. Yeah. I wanted to see what was that movie we were watching the other day with Denzel Washington. Was it good? Roman J. Israel. Yeah, it looked I good. Kind of sucked. Oh. I don't know. What was I? It looked okay, but I was focusing on something else. But I, I guess it wasn't 
too good because if I'm focusing on something else. Because when I watch movies, I like to be engaged. Um, and I guess I wasn't as engaged, so I guess it wasn't as good as I Yeah, it wasn't movie. one of his best movies. Yeah. I wasn't crazy about it. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Snapchat? Yeah. You're always Snapchatting. Let's see your password. What are you putting in as your password, everyone? <laughs> yeah, very funny. How could you see that when, when I'm already in? <laughs> it's a joke. Yes, I used to love Snapchat the last couple of years, and all of a sudden I lost myself in this YouTube channel, but I gained myself back at some point, right, darling? Yes. And we're connecting again. Yay! Connecting. Who's connecting? Us. We. Us connecting. We weren't connecting before. Well, in the last two weeks, according to you, but, you know, <laughs> I which I agreed, but we're I doing great now. I didn't say not connecting. I just said, like, communicate better because everything was oh, about yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, YouTube and everything is about I'm going to open mic and I'm going to this and I'm going Poor to that. Was sad. Oh no, and it's okay. And I was sad because it was our anniversary that you were planning all these events and our birthday weekend and things like that. I didn't mean to put myself before my full <laughs> practice. No, you put yourself you always have to put yourself before anyone else. You can't take care of yourself. You can't take care of others, so you come first. That's you right. know. But you're most important. You, 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 you. I don't think that I'm that important because I still don't have a Chanel handbag in my hand. Well, my book <laughs> blows up. You're going to have plenty of those. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm going to get my own Chanel handbag. See how much I love my Nina? I wouldn't do that, man. I'm not. Oh, I see. I think Nina's yummy. Yeah, so <laughs> James is, is silly self again. We're on our way to see my dad. Uh, he lives in Babylon. Yeah, and I have no hair to whatsoever. My hair looks, or well, at least what's left of it, looks like a hurricane. <laughs> okay, so we're on our way to Long Island. We are. We're going to see her dad. King no. David. He's a king. No, he's not a king, but that's his name. His name is King David. Yeah, he does but, have a royal house name. <laughs> James, that's not nice. Unfortunately, he's in a nursing home, but he's doing well. He's very healthy. And I um, don't mean, and I mean that because mm -hmm. it sucks when they put those poor old people in the nursing home. They don't treat them right. Nah, well, they, I think at my dad's place, they're, they're pretty decent. The only thing, but a lot of people, they don't treat them right. I think the only thing that's my dad, and I think this is everywhere that they don't have like good food. My dad is so funny. Every time I visit him, he's always looking at the menu and he's always saying that he's hungry and that um, they don't have good food. He's always talking about the food there. And I'm like, oh, I can bring you something, but I don't bring him anything. And the reason why is because... Um, uh, he is on a diet, like a, he can't have like high sodium and things like that. So I don't want to bring anything outside and affect his diet um, to make his health go out of whack or anything. So I leave that to the professionals and stuff. I think I, one time I bought That's him like a, a chicken with no salt, no sodium and stuff like that. But still, the, even that, you know, because my dad says he can eat all this kind of stuff and then he really can't. So. I always talk to his uh, caseworker to see what he can and cannot eat, but I just leave it to them. So we're, go we're going out there. I was supposed to go there Friday night, but James and I were both tired. It's so funny because James told me the story how, how you fell asleep first, but then when you woke up, what did you see me doing? Sleeping. No, sleeping before. <laughs> of course I was sleeping, but what was I sleeping with? The camera. No. The computer. <laughs> Come oh, the remote control. Yeah. And how was I holding the remote control? She was control? holding it like a baby. She was holding it packed like this. <laughs> I just want to let go of it. <laughs> Did you just make a storing sound? It's okay. I yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was holding the remote. Yeah. You are holding it packed like a baby. So basically, um, that's. I was that tired. Him and I, James and I, both were tired. So now. We're going uh, to see my daddy, uh, King David, um, also known as Champ. And I, I don't know if he's going to tell the story again, but basically he used to like own an ice truck and stuff. And they used to, I forgot, I gotta, I'm botching the story, so I probably will try to let him tell it. an ice truck? Yeah, like an ice truck. And he would like deliver ice and they would have him and his workers would have competitions. Like who can crush the most, most ice or something of that that nature. Oh, I'll yeah, let him tell the story. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, that's how he got the nickname Champ. And so everybody calls him Champ. You know. I thought he would just. I didn't know. He didn't say that when I, he told the story. I thought he just said he owned he drove a truck. I don't know, James. Sometimes hey, he, he drives it, sometimes he owned it. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Most times they did because my uncle used to own a Celta truck. Celta was a Celta. Celta water. 
Oh, seltzer? Yeah, seltzer at this era. How did he manage to make money doing that? Beats a lot of people Jesus drink seltzer me. water. But not the old time seltzers that they had in, the, in those seltzer spray bottles. I forget what they're called. They used to have them back in the old days, but y'all can look them up if you want to. Who? The old seltzer cans they used to have. What well, was the brand spray. name? I don't know. What, it's not a brand. They used to spray. They used to spray in some can. I don't know what it's called. It was drinkable water. No seltzer water. <laughs> talking about the thing they sprayed it. In. What are you talking about? I, don't I can't know. describe. But it. wait, wait. Was it seltzer water to drink? Yes, but they it, used for well, the bottle that older people used back in the day. I can't describe it. No, look it up. the bottle that older people use to put the seltzer water inside. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So now they have. Old. But you, you guys could look up. <laughs> We know that you're not old. How old are you, James? 32. <laughs> you're youngie. You're young. And you're going to be 37. Her birthday's tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday to my darling Lisa. Yeah. She's <laughs> <to practice. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Dad, how did you get the name Champ again? You owned your own ice truck, right? You said you owned your own ice truck. No, but you used to drive a truck, an ice truck. <laughs> no, you told me that. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, you used to work at the ice house. Yeah, that's probably fun too. You used to work at the ice house, and then what happened? Like, how did you get the name Champ? Because you were crushing ice? Huh? It was the Roman Cathedral. I'm trying to find pictures. Wait, you were heating up ice? No, I, I'm watching the story. Cause and that's us in the train. You were heating up ice? I don't know what that means. Oh, you used to head it up, and then like you used to be the fastest or something. You used to be the fastest, and that's why you got the name Champ. There's a daughter by the train. That's Nina, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's us walking on the way to the Tower of Peace. Huh? Well, that's not. We're not in that picture, but. Yeah, but I'll, I'll print some pictures, some good ones out of uh, us, us in Italy. One of the leading top pieces. <laughs> you stop reading? You want a copy of James' book, a clean version? It will cost you $20. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You can get it for free. You want a copy of his book? Uh, not really? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, but he wrote weekend. Right, Daddy? I can eat whatever I want on my birthday. <laughs> you guess so. So are you going to still walk me down the aisle at my wedding when I get married? Yo, I thought you said no. <laughs> huh? What, what, what made you change your mind? <laughs> You're funny, Daddy. Really funny. Hey, James is hiding his hair because he has no hair gel. So we're on the way. Today's my birthday. Yay, happy, birthday happy birthday, Nina. So we're on our way happy to James' old neck of the woods. Um, yeah, kind of old. Uh, the Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, where we're going to go and enjoy. Hopefully, I didn't have a restaurant planned. I know it's a Mexican restaurant. I don't know the name of it. It is brand new. So hopefully it's not too packed. But the good thing about that strip, there's a lot of different restaurants over there. So That's fingers true. Fingers crossed that we go to the Mexican restaurant that we want because we've been uh, featuring a lot of Asian dishes on here. I think like the first three or four videos, no, the last, uh, the first one was the hot potato house, right? Yeah, it was a Russian place, and the last three was but Asian. Asian. So now we want to uh, fix, hook you up with some uh, Mexican food. Hopefully, fingers crossed that right. that uh, place is open. So we're on our way that there. Should be. Yeah. We're, so. we're taking the bus now because in Brooklyn, you don't really need a car. People have a car, but it's just it's not worth it. We have the subway, we have the bus, 
system or whatever. There's no parking. The only reason why, first of all, the reason why I don't have a car is because it's not, not a need. I know how to drive, but like the parking is horrendous. My sister came to visit um, like a month ago and it took her like 30 minutes, 40 minutes to park because there was no parking places and we didn't have like a designated parking place. And even if we did have a designated parking spot, excuse me, it would cost $300, $400 a month. It doesn't make any sense. And Boy, James, man, that's crazy. Yeah, and James, tell them why you don't drive. Well, I'm accident prone. Accident prone? I just want to go up to one of four, five hundred a month. Your insurance, your insurance, because uh, do you stop at stop signs? Not always. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, well, it's called the ice cream house for a reason. They should just specialize in this ice cream because they suck at cake. <laughs> Unless you're a big chocolate fan. <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of people like chocolate. Do you like chocolate, James? Yes. I'm surprised you don't. Yeah, I just don't. I don't. I like chocolate candy, but as far as chocolate ice cream, it's very rare. Like, I can have, like, chocolate, like a Neap- Neapolitan, but. Or a banana split, but usually when I order banana splits, I don't even order the chocolate. I just don't like the taste. Oh, me personally, I've never been a fan of the banana split, but chocolate Neapolitan, it kind of depends on how it's made. Yeah. I, I used to like Neapolitan ice cream, though. It was, it was fine, though. Yeah. So what's up with this marketing stuff? Well, we both had to market better. You know, we both have been doing better so far in terms of our marketing. And, you know, the YouTube videos that we both make has been great. You know, the collaboration's working out well. Yeah, so what do you think you could start um, hosting your own events, like finding uh, venues or even maybe like a little restaurant like this sometimes, like if they, they have a slow night? Maybe pay them 50 or or $100 for a little event, have a little event. Because I used to do that when I was in Vegas. Um, just go to a restaurant, have a, an event at a restaurant after hours or during hours, and they would um, have a special room, and you would just have people order off a special menu and stuff or whatever, and they come, and you make it fun for them. Oh, yeah. Or whatever like that. But, I mean, even if you go... but. Uh, it's good if you're at a library because you have a book, you're an author, so it's good if you hold your events at libraries where people love to read, or a bookstore where people love to um, read at bookstores as well. So you want to find certain bookstores that you can do like a meet and greet at, or a book signing at, you know? Yeah, definitely have more than one too. Yeah, do more than one. That would be something I wouldn't mind doing. How do you feel about your YouTube channel? Well, our channel feels great so far. Yeah, it feels great. I mean, sometimes the pain is a struggle, but, you know, progress is progress. Yeah, but you're very consistent. You just got to keep going. Yes. Well, you know, with like, with your editing and your work, contribute, your contributions, excuse me, we're going to do great on this channel. Indeed, indeed, because I'm the boss. You know, our vision for both of us is to, you know, to have a successful life, to have a successful and that by all means, YouTube or marketing books is the answer, and so be it. Oh, just in time. The food is here. Oh, yes. The food came. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that that one, yours? You. you got black bean, James? Yes. Thank you. All right. Thanks. So James and I basically got the same thing. So he has corn on the cob uh, with mixed vegetables, black beans, and a rotisserie chicken. I, on the other hand, have... Um, Sweet plantains, uh, rotisserie chicken, corn on the cob, and as well as yuca. If you've never had yuca before, the best thing that I can describe it is like a, a potato. It's not nasty. It's, it's, it's like a potato, you know. Um, and it's uh, very popular in the Spanish cuisine and things like that. So I'm going to start digging in and seeing how this tastes. How does yours taste so far, James? Tastes good? Yep. All right, so now we're going to eat. <laughs> hey, James, how was your food? It was great. How was your food? Good. I see you wipe your plate clean. Yeah, so did you. You were pretty hungry. How was your plantains? They were good. I love sweet plantains. Do you? No. No? Why not? Oh, I had so many, like I told you, I had so many plantains when I was little that I got sick of it. Same yeah. with Jupa. Jupa? Are you, oh, yuca? Yeah, you know, that's how I pronounce it. But anyways, yeah. How do you pronounce yuca? In Spanish, it's Juca. Juca, oh, Juca. Somebody uh. calling somebody a bad name. But yeah, that's what it sounds. <laughs> Juca. Juca. Do you know how to cook it? Like, no. Yeah, you just boil it like you do any other vegetable. No. Well, I didn't even know because I never hardly boiled anything before, so... It tastes better than potatoes. Eggs. No, it does not. Yes, it does. How much you want to bet? Let's ask. Let's do a poll. If any of you guys had yuca, which tastes better? Yuca or potatoes? Potatoes? Boiled potatoes or yuca? I vote potatoes. Potatoes are hard. 
Mm, yuca is much softer, has a much softer texture. It's, it's easier to eat and digest. Okay. Yeah. That's what you say. Indeed, indeed. Hey, hey. Hey, we're about to find the cake for Nina. So our journey of finding the right cake will hopefully finally be over right across the street. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Cheesecake Diva! Yeah, it just opened up you know, last year, two years ago. And That's a nice. Let's find out what the place is all about. We certainly will. Yes, so, what did you give this? Do you give it five hearts, four hearts? Four and a half hearts. Four. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, Thank great. you. Yeah, we're yeah, finished. We're Thank you. <laughs> four and a half. Yep. Why four and a half? Oh. You don't know? It's five. I'm kidding. No, it's okay. You can do four and a half. I don't I was know. fine. It was just basic. I mean, I don't know. I, I would say I like it. I don't have any. Um, it's nice and quiet in here. Um, I think it will be five. I love the, I love the yucca. I love the taste, the texture. Because it depends on who cooks the yucca. Because sometimes it can be so bland and flavorless. And sometimes but this it is bland and flavorless. <laughs> it's not. It's <laughs> it, uh, uh, the corn on the cob is really good. I I think I butter too much. Every time James cooks me corn on the cob, I uh, she loves buttering her corn. I love okay. butter, buttering my corn. Okay. One second, come on, come on this side. James goes again being silly. So we just finished eating at Don Marie, Mario? Don Mario? Mario. Yes. Don Mario. Okay, I, I'm not sure why I can't say Mario today. Um, Don what Mario. Are you saying Mario? <laughs> I don't know why I'm hey, saying look. It's Don Mario. That's cake over there. Cake what? Oh no, but it's cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake oh, like that. But anyway, so we, we are here. This is new. Um, how long do you think it's been open? Like. Not even a year. Not even a year? Um, and it's a basic, simple Mexican restaurant where you get your enchiladas, tacos, rotisserie chicken. We ordered the rotisserie chicken. So we yeah. gave this place five stars um, because the service was great. The food was nice and tasty. The chicken was very juicy and tender. Um, the yuca was tasty, even though James doesn't like yuca. Um, the yuca was soft, the good texture, very flavorful. Um, Corn on the cob was good because James knows that I like to butter my corn, but I, you didn't need a lot of butter on this corn. And um, the place is a nice vibe, quiet ambiance, and the price, you can't beat the price. What was it? Ten fifty per person for rotisserie chicken with three sides? It was just enough that you can get, you know? And this is where I wanted to go because I, I love the ambiance. I don't know if the wall over there oh i have food in my mouth okay. i don't know if the wall over there drew me in but i love that wall it's it's beautiful you know that probably drew me into the place but it's a nice small little place you know um nothing too fancy nothing too extravagant but the food was good tasty and affordable so we're giving it five stars we excuse me five hearts uh we love the ambiance we love the service we love the food you know, and we love. And I can't do a heart. I do a heart. <laughs> and, yeah. and James is silly, being silly as usual, but I need to stop talking because we need to go and uh, fix my dessert craving. Because I'm like, yeah. I want an ice cream cake for my birthday. Come hell or high water. That's all weekend. And yeah. We're gonna get it, so stay tuned for the next. If it's segment. not ice cream cake, because we went to, as I said before, we went to the ice cream house, but they had chocolate mixed with everything. Who the hell puts chocolate with everything? Who in the hell put chocolate in the cake? They yeah, do. they do. No, no, no. So I may uh, alter a little bit because I see that cheesecake diva, and they probably have something that I will like. So let's see. Let's see if we can get on this quest to get my birthday dessert. But until next time, ciao, fellas. James and your book bag again. You have that big book bag again? Yes. Let's see what they have. Looks good. Salted caramel. Is this all cheesecake? All of it's cheesecake. Mm. What, baby? What'd you say? 
You were saying it would just stay for two minutes. I didn't. Oh, do you have. So let's look at all the different flavors while James is paying. They have strawberry, original, blueberry, passion fruit, raspberry, dulce de leche, orange, mango, espresso, cookies and cream, chocolate, salted caramel, hazelnut. That's what I'm going to get. They have also um, ice cream that you can get with this. I'm getting the cookies and cream ice cream. I don't think it goes with the sea salt caramel, but I love cookies and cream, so let's try it out and see how it tastes, you know. But they also have bubble tea here. I like bubble tea, but I'm not going to get that today. Black sesame. I've never had black sesame ice cream, so that's something to try the next time they come. Thank you. So we couldn't get the ice cream cake, but we really wanted to get dessert. We're about to go see a movie. So we had to settle, but it's good because this cheesecake actually tastes good. It's salted caramel cheesecake. And then I'm gonna dip into this ice cream, so hopefully this ice cream will satisfy my birthday treat. And it's better than getting the whole entire cake because James doesn't eat cake like that. So it's good that we just have this little bit so we don't have a big cake in our house what I would eat every day. James, why are you eating my ice cream when you said you don't want ice cream? see why this is worth 4 <laughs> So that's why you're eating my ice cream? No. <laughs> no, that's why. I'm gonna try it a little bit. Try it. No, you try it. It's perfect. <laughs> Wait, there's no, it's not. Okay, so that concludes our night. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Loving Love in Diamond. Yep, and until next week, everybody, hope you enjoy your social new videos. And thank you to my dear girlfriend, collaborator, director, and editor, Nina Nicole Lewis. The director of making this video possible. Making it possible. Save me. Okay.